Hey guys, so in today's video I wanted to do a comparison review of the GHD Platinum which came out about six months ago and a regular GHD. The one I have is a GHD uh, IV or number four, however you like to pronounce it, um, which is just a regular GHD I suppose. And I wanted to compare these two today because I had quite a lot of comments asking me is it really worth the money, how does it compare to a regular GHD and is the technology that much better than any other GHD. So this is the GHD Platinum. It was released about six months ago. I got it for my birthday last year and it retails for about $300 Australian. I got it in the white version and um, I can honestly say I haven't had too many problems with this GHD. I've seen quite a lot of reviews online that the GHD has broken down after a couple of months and they've had to send it back to GHD and get it replaced and the customer service was really bad. Um, I've also heard that the plates have stopped heating up and working. Um, I haven't had any of those problems but the problems that I have had were um, it gets extremely dirty, for one, because of the white colour. It picks up absolutely everything, and particularly if you've recently dyed your hair, it will catch... Uh, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera right now, but it's uh, it sort of just has this uh, grime all over it. Um, and in comparison to this uh, regular GHD, it hasn't done that much at all. Um, well, definitely not as much as the GHD Platinum. So over the past six months uh, with using the GHD Platinum, the only thing that has been bugging me a lot is the fact that the plates are no longer as smooth as when I first started to use it. So now when I go through my hair, it's starting to tug and pull my hair and it's not anywhere near as smooth as when I first used it, it was just like gliding down my hair and now it's starting to tug onto my hair. So that's one thing I really am not happy about. In comparison though, uh, the normal GHD is so much smoother and it hasn't failed me in that aspect whatsoever. It continuously goes down smoothly across my hair and I haven't had any um, I haven't had any issues of it like sort of damaging or breaking my hair. The GHD Platinum, it doesn't break my hair, it's not catching my hair or getting caught in the GHD, it's just the fact that the plates are no longer smooth so it just sort of tugs on my hair and it doesn't glide down as easy as it used to six months ago. But there are some minor differences with the GHD Platinum to the normal GHD. Uh, the GHD Platinum has really thick tongs, I find that it's really hard to get close to the roots of your hair and especially if you want to get rid of any frizz that's right up the top. Uh, the GHD, or the normal GHD, has much thinner plates, so, or I mean much thinner tongs, so it's so much easier to get right to the roots of your hair. And it also creates much tighter curls because there isn't so much thickness around the tongs. So I'm going to turn on both of these GHDs on at the same time to see which one heats up faster and also they don't have any temperature control which was another question I was asked quite a bit. Okay. So the GHD Platinum heated up the fastest and it was about 5 seconds faster than the normal GHD. What I thought I would do is show you a comparison on how I straighten my hair. So on my left side I'm going to use a GHD Platinum and on my right side I'm going to use the normal GHD. So we'll see which one turns out better. the right side of my hair with the normal GHD. So 
now that both sides of my hair are done with the left side GHD Platinum, right side normal GHD, I really can't tell the difference. I mean, let me know what you guys think because I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on which side looks better or if you can tell a difference or not. So in my personal opinion, I feel that the normal GHD is really worth the money because you're, you're not spending too much to get really good results, whereas the GHD Platinum is really going that much further in the price, but I can't really tell that much difference in the quality of hair straightening or styling. So let me know what you guys think of both of these GHDs since there has been quite a lot of debate about the GHD Platinum and any normal GHD. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Please like this video and also subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.